Alright guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last part, we did some various stuff around the sea, found out some important thing about getting the Master Sword fixed or something, and uh, got an item on Greatfish Isle, and like I said, we were going to head north, and uh, I believe we're supposed to get on Beetle's ship around here, which is Rock Spire Island. Wow, it's really small. And apparently there's supposed to be an empty bottle on here, at least according to the Zelda wiki, Zelda Dungeon, whatever. Oh my god, who are you? You are not Beetle. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, you are Beetle. Oh, a fine welcome to you, young person that I've never seen before. You're so lucky to meet me at this time. This shop will close in just seven more days, and I'm having a clearance sell. Well then, looks like we can buy... MSRP. No idea what that is. This is my last one. This is my last one of these two. I want to buy the empty bottle first. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You're happy. I'm happy. We're all happy. So that's sweet. How much is this? 950 rupees. Well, that's that's a damn shame because I can't really buy it. Bye. Well, empty bottle is good enough for me now that we got this empty bottle. That's pretty sweet. If we ever get enough money to buy that piece of heart, I'll definitely buy that. But for now, sweet enough, that Rock Spire Island doesn't look like something... Actually, it looks like something we can do stuff on, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna take out my cannon and shoot down those rocks. And see if we can get whatever's up there, because I'm assuming it's something nice. We really need a lot more rubies. Are you trying to ram my ship, Beetle? I go in there and buy stuff from you, and you just turn into a giant prick? Alright, fine, I'll go around the backside. God. Haven't you ever watched one of those boating training videos from Spongebob? Stupid beetle. So stupid. Alright, let's see if I can shoot these down with the cannon. Way too high. Alright, got that one. Got that one. Uh, missed that one miserably. Got it. Alright, well I'm gonna get out of here because I can swim faster than the King of Red Lions can just cruise around at... Ooh, there's another rock right there. Looks like I missed it. Oh well. If there's anything important in there, I'll just shoot down. Let's see. And it doesn't appear that we can get up there yet. We might need something. Actually, no, we can't get up there. What am I talking about? We can use this to get up there. And I'm assuming it'll be really easy to get across because I already threw all the bombs using the cannon. So, let's just jump. Oh, alright. Well, I don't need the ducky leaf, it looks like, so that's good. Uh, is that jump makeable? Yeah, looks like it. And then finally, ooh! Yep. I have no idea what's up here, but I'm gonna get whatever it is. It might be a piece of heart and I just don't know about it. This better not be what I think it is. Oh no, I think this is what I think it is. I didn't know that was all the way up here. Oh no! I believe this is the... God, I don't really remember what it's called. Labyrinthine something. Or something of that nature. Savage Maze, that's it. We just Savage Maze. Oh god, no, it's not. This is Keese Hell. Oh, oh no. Get out of here, Keese. I've never been in here before, but my god, how many Keese did they put in here? This, this, this must be the cave of 100 Keese. Only explanation. Where did you guys come from with that? Not that it's really that hard. I mean, I'm just hoping to get all these guys down. I'm getting tons of very small green rupees here. And I got three orbs, which is certainly nice. So. They look like the last piece. I think he's the. Nope, you must be the last piece. Hey, and the only one to hit me. Now he's down. Alright. I think that was all the keys. So we get a little nice little treasure chest here. God knows what this is, but I'm assuming it's something nice considering. They threw every keys in the entire world at us. Oh my god. Of course, I'm gonna open this stuff up first. Definitely need some magic. Um, nothing really too nice in there, but, you know, I'll certainly take it. I did exhaust all my magic, so. They're keys, so not too hard to kill. I'm not expecting a great drop, but. Yeah, whatever, that's good enough. Alright, let's see what's in this treasure chest. I have a feeling it's just gonna be a treasure chart that I'll never use, but. Whatever. What do we get? Treasure chart. Never will use it ever. But whatever, that's nice. Just in case I happen to sail past this, I guess I'll get it. Let's get out of here, though. I was not expecting that at all. Nice little find, I suppose. It might take us to some rupees. Actually, now that we're on the sea, I'm gonna open it because uh, I'll probably forget to open it otherwise. Let's see, open it up. 
Probably an island I'll never go to. I think I've only gotten one treasure chart in the entire game. I want to get 38, because that's the one that I paid for. And that looks like it's some sort of eye reef. But now, we are going to sail slightly to the east. And we are going to get our final arrow upgrade, so I'm going to meet you guys over there. Okay, it wasn't too far away, but we're at the island. Which is right over here, one sp- oh, oops, my bad. One space over to the west of Rock Spire Island. I think I said east by accident, but it's to the west. Oops! I forgot I don't have the skull hammer set to Z right now, I have it set to X. Anyways, just use the skull hammer and then I'll make the fire go away. And apparently Mr. Postbox over here is dancing, so... There's something nice- Whoa! What it was- I've never seen that before! You can do a jump attack with the skull hammer? Oh, that's neat. This makes us suddenly a really awesome item. Like, even more awesome than it was before. Ah, but I'm getting sidetracked. Let's go. Oh, apparently we can keep it out while we have the other items out. Sweet. But, let's put it away. Good morning, Letters for Beaver. We have one letter. Here is your letter. Let's see what it is. How have you been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship writing you this letter. Isn't that neat? At first, I was really scared, but they're all actually nice. For pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo is a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Nudge is a little strange, too, but nice. And as for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko's kind of weird, and Mako is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses, so I do that a lot. <laughs> as usual, Nico is always fooling around. He won't take anything seriously. Actually, he seems sad not to have you around anymore. Are you guys good friends? I helped them all out with their chores, and they actually paid me a little for it, so I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't you worry. I'll take care of myself, so you be sure to take good care of yourself. Good luck! And she gave us 20 rupees. That is so sweet. Oh, Ew, I don't like this mushy-gushy feeling. Anyways, let's drop down here and get our final fairy upgrade of... A quiver upgrade, of course. And with that, we will be able to shoot as many arrows as is possible in the entire game, so... Totally sweet. Yes, yes, same spiel as the rest of the fairies. Just give me the arrows. And with that, we have the biggest quiver in the entire game where we can carry up to 99 arrows. And there are no more fairies in the entire game. But there is one more upgrade that we can get. I'll probably get some more bottles as well. Maybe a few more heart pieces. But that's pretty much all the upgrades we need to beat the game. I mean, of course, there's the dungeon items of the last two dungeons, but those aren't too major. Oh, we do get two special items, I believe, before going to the dungeons. At least that I can think of. And I remember to kill the blue chew this time, so that's sweet. Alright, let's get some more blue chew jelly. It might sell for a lot, so... Yeah, that's probably a good idea to get it. But now that we got an empty bottle, I can use it to make a potion, too, so... Let's get back on our boat, and we are going to go to... Windfall now? Yeah, Windfall. Gotta make sure I don't get it confused with Outset, because for some reason they are the two most confusing names in the entire game. They don't even sound alike. Anyways... Head over to Windfall, and over here we are going to get a bunch of bottle, I think, and learn a new song, I know that. I'm doing this all based off of memory, and that was like 40 minutes ago, so I hope I'm remembering correctly. I believe I am. I never really collect anything when I play this game. And again, this is my second time at this point, my third time playing the game, so... Anyways, that wouldn't fall we are. And now there's a ginger out here. What do you want? Being poor must be pretty rough. You take one look at me, and that's the first thing you think, isn't it? Wait a minute! Uh, I just realized something. <laughs> that's kind of funny. That guy's not relevant to this LP, though, so we're gonna ignore him. Uh, you look a lot like Gonzo. I'm gonna ignore you, though. Let's see... No, we don't need to go back there. There is one place I want to go as well while we're here, because we actually need to go there over the course of the game sometime. 
Let's see, don't need to talk to you, other ginger guy. Although you kind of look like that one killer bee. We might actually talk with the killer bees, too. Alright, let's see. Apparently now if we talk to Tot, he'll do some things. That magical dance. Oh, that magical dance. It changes night in the day and day in the night. If only I could recall the rhythm. Oh, the rhythm. Then I could dance perfectly. Uh, does this say anything? No. Hmm. Uh, I didn't want to play... Why? Uh, controller? Oh. Um, cha. Cha. Um, um, cha. That's it. That's it. That's the rhythm I'm trying to call. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel a guy. All I need is more cowbell. Right, left, and down. It's pretty nice. Just look at these moves. Got a rainbow on my back. Uh, wait, oops. No. Right. Left. Down. I believe this is the right song. You learn the song of passing. It changes day to night and night to day. That's it. That is it. And it's perfect. I'm perfect. I'll bring on the night. Right, left, down. Alright, well that's pretty nice. Dot, 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 hey, what's the matter? Nothing happened, nothing at all, why? Well, you gotta play with the Wind Waker, of course. So now whenever we play anything with the Wind Waker, or play that song with the Wind Waker, we can change day to night and night to day. It's kind of like the Sun song. It's pretty sweet. I don't think this is the place I want to go to. Oh, yes it is, actually. This is exactly where I want to go. Oh no! Oh no, not him! Anything but him. Hello there, little man. Hmm! I see the same green clothes and the same green hat! By the look of you, I'd say, Sir, could you be chance by be a fairy? Goodness! Did you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry. Tingle knows without you telling him. Sir? Yes, sir! Tingle is my name. I have been looking for you and your kind for I too long to one of the fairy folk. And that's a weird way to word it. And yet, I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where you and your kind live in splendor. I don't want to. Fine. Let's open the door. If you help me, I'll give you a fabulous present. So, please, Mr. Fairy, please rescue poor Tingle and take him to where you and your kind live in harmony. Uh, alright. Well, I don't exactly know how to do that. Uh, I, I'd like to open the door, but you're kind of being an ass here. Come over here. Alright, now I'm going to open the door. I'm going to open the door. No? Okay, yes, I'd like to open the door, but that doesn't seem possible at this point. I think you and your kind of little harmony. Yeah. No, I don't want to talk to you. You're the worst. Get out of here. <laughs> He's kind of a descendant of Flay Flay. Oh! Apparently, if you press on this. I'm, actually, I'm just gonna drop a pot on it. And that'll open the door. Sweet. Yay! Hooray! Thank you so very much! Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle, Tingle, Kululimpa! Become an item! Oh, God. So much fruitiness. Why are you doing that? He gave you the Tingle Tuner. If you have a Game Boy Advance that you like to connect to the GameCube, you can do stuff. Um, I've never really managed to get this to work, and I even have the cable and the thing that goes at the bottom of the GameCube and a Game Boy Advance, but it doesn't seem to work, so I don't really know how to get the Tingle Tuner to work, honestly. Otherwise, I'd show it off or something. Ah, I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? You got Tingle's chart. <laughs> we can warp to Tingle's island already, so... Anyways, I'm done talking to the fruitcake. Absolutely finished with this. If you ever need help with charts, don't forget it. So you're good with charts, cool. I'll keep that in mind. Spoilers, we're gonna need help with charts. 
Anyways, I guess while we're in here, I'm gonna get something that I believe we can use to get a piece of heart, but I'm probably not gonna use. Which is... Whoa, why is that not working? Maybe I gotta pull it? Ah, okay, right. Gotta pull this, and it opens up this little tunnel that Tingle made, apparently. Apparently I can't change my camera. And for some reason, he made it a puzzle, too, so I don't really know why I did that. I don't know what Tingle is thinking. Uh, I can't go that way. If you see a little bit of wood, and it's kind of going to be hard to do anything now that we're going backwards, but um, if you see a tiny bit of wood, don't head in that direction, because uh, bad things will happen. Essentially, you'll just end up in a dead end. I'm going to keep going forward here. I can't really see very well. Uh, but I'm assuming if I keep taking these paths with the rupees, I'll get there. Yeah, see, you can see the wood on the left there. I don't want to go that way. can't really see ones that are straight in front of you, though, which is a shame. Although I think we made it to the room that we're supposed to go to. Pure luck that I made it here, essentially. Alright, treasure chest. What's inside here? Skulls. Skulls inside here. Uh, let's ignore that. And let's get whatever's in here. And that would be... The Pictobox! You can use it to take pictures. I believe if you take pictures of certain things, you can get a piece of heart with the guy who actually owns this. And Tingle was actually put in jail because he stole this. If you go talk to the Pictobox owner, he says there's a ruffian in here. Date unknown. At last, I have succeeded in stealing the Pictobox I have desired for so long. Successfully, yes, but sadly. Due to a slight mistake on my part, I was also caught. I have been in prison, but I do not e give it easily. I refuse to give this wondrous box to my captors. I have decided to hide it here in the depths of my cell and make my escape by tunneling out. Yes, that is my plan. Thanks to PBG, I kind of came to the realization that Tangle tunneled this himself. There are skulls in here. The only person who could have gotten skulls in here is Tingle. Tingle killed eight people. Tingle is a monster. Tingle is a goddamn monster. Anyways, I'm just gonna walk onto one of these wood platforms now, because if you do that, some rat will pull a little bell, and you'll fall back down. Or you'll fall down here. And you always go to the same place, so... That'll put us right over here in this alcove. But I believe we're gonna call it an episode, so thank you guys for watching, and in the next part, we'll get some more stuff around Windfall and whatnot. See you guys then.